<sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD 250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh, it's her. She's in 1B, same class as Karabe Kuo. Hey, what? She's not What's even my on? type, but I can't get her out of my head. It's just Amiguchi. Must be from all those dreams. I didn't offend you or anything, did I, Sawatari san? Amiguchi kun remembers my name. I remember Tomi chan too. Why bother remembering me? I never get a girl's name wrong. Miwako, what do you see in this guy? Come on, let's go. <sighs> Kurabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Isn't that... Hey, Miura-kun. Amikuchi-kun. You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well, for what it's worth... You can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? I owe you a debt of gratitude for all you've done. I'll be all right. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh, yeah? Glad to hear it, man. So, uh, what is this thing? Uh, well, this is... Don't forget your promise. It talks? Whoa! An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Wow. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. Feel like I had a dream about something like this. You were in it too, Mira-kun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. <laughs> My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense of them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. Even that dream. Was that drone scouting for the kaiju? Hope they didn't find us. Kisaragi-san? There was this great cake shop on the first floor here. 
And they had this pear tart. It was amazing. And now, even my own apartment, it's all ruined. All gone. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. My, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me. And scratchy or not, I'd still tune in to see you. You're such a dork. Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online, nothing's getting updated. I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things erased everybody. Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. I saw it happen. I bet Mom and Dad were... That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, they've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then... they just stop. No carnage. They're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> and us, we didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's gotta be a reason for that, too. How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together. Even with all this stuff. I... I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out, too. <gasps> It's just a building collapsing over there. They didn't find us. Yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh... Well... Y you really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder... Why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams, and... You said you'd kind of go for tough guys. Cool guys. That's basically it. What? Oh, that's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but I couldn't walk the walk, huh? Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? What? That's... actually my username. What?! All this time that's been you?! Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. I only got so far because of him. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um... I guess I always sort of had feelings for... Her. Over here! <gasps> I can't believe it. There were other survivors. We came to rescue you. Morimura-san, they're over here! My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? Me? I'm Tetsuya Ida.
<sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her... I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh. <gasps> Ouch! Ow. Oh, it's you. Gotta make sure. I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? What the hell is your problem? I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. with this guy. <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is... Underground? And I saw Usami-chan there, too. Tomi Kisaragi! Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Okay, so... And that should work okay. Memory data is now ready. Fucking <laughs> way.
Thank you, Tamao-san. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida-kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body, too. Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. Please, come back to me. Tomi, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? Wait, are you his older brother? Hmm. Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? I, I can't move. Trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Uh. Huh? What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kisaragi-san, you're like me now. An AI, based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still... You. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. Sentinels, Ida Kun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. She's calmed down. Really? Tony? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. Then I put him down. Damn it. That dream again. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes. But Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it... The Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. <sighs> um, you in there? 
Not coming out today? Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. There you are. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Back in my dream, he called himself T. We look ident. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else, just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kinda over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. Apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Frickin' weirdo. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? What should we look...
Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder whose it is. You think it's some sort of sign to her lover? <sighs> oh. Maybe not Chun's in here. Or not. Natsuno Minami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it... I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class. She seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? Huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Mm -hmm. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? <sighs> was there something else? Huh? She was. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name. It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. Was there something else? Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. And the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? So, uh... Yes? Oh, could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed... Are you one of those Sukeban girls? <laughs> oh, are you, like, hiding a razor in your skirt right now? Uh, of course not! This is the first time I've seen one in real life? Oh, wow. Uh, is your friend okay? You stay here. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick? Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so, too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school, too, I guess. What incident? 
There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. Hello. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. You on the track team? Yes. Oh, yeah? Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Authorized personnel only? It's just a damn locker room. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Yo, Aiba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh... You want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Mm. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans. Found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachon make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an invest... These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Tokisaka Shrine. 
Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe not. Either way. What follows is an investig. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. I thought I told you to wait up. I can't do that. You. I assume you've heard about me. So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. to the fence on the roof? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> fire. I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. So about Notch, I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah. I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Why do you say that? 
I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. <clears throat> the agent on Nachan's case. Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. Take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the North Building. Certainly. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? There's no way all this was from a fire. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. These scratch marks... They're carved pretty deep in there. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the Class 1 hallway just now. I gotta find her. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! Wait for me! She was somewhere around here before. Where could she have gone? She's got to be nearby. <sighs> Not here either. Please don't run off like that so suddenly. <laughs> I can't keep up. the girl's bathroom in the north building that right what happened there oh what's with all the questions anyways i know you were there are you talking about what happened in the north building i had nothing to do with it why would i go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways <sighs> are these your glasses what's this all about Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. So obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. All right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. 
So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Yeah? I saw her... the day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. Well, Miwako, what the hell? Uh, but I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? was with me the whole time. At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right. But what about Nachan? I, I mean... How did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah! So two Tomi Kisaragis. What the hell's going on? On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before, but I don't know which year or class. So two Tomi Kisaragis. And... a girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom? <laughs> well, well. videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Shh. 
Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. Wait, okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? <laughs> this is so crazy! How do they even talk to each other? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, oh my god. We really are in the 80s. I can't believe that hair. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. What even is that? A pompadour? The show air is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? I just can't stop laughing. <gasps> what even is that? The show air. And what the hell are you, huh? Your hair. D you trying to. Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little. Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. Hey! Don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please, carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. <sighs> Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes my day. Stop causing problems. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. about those facilitators? You mean Shikishima? The military corporation? All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. You sure we're not being used? That is not your concern. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. They've got tons of factories across the world. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it. It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now? I'm way back in 1985. So, like, how old am I, technically? Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained this already. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. I never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool. Got it. Still... Even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. What I need is a little leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. Until further notice, here are your orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? Everything back home's been destroyed? Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, 
I'm way back in 1985. So like... Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on employer of the year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Usami-chan! Did you check out all those books? What are they? Hey, do you mind if I take a look? They're not that interesting. I just want to peek. Let's see. Business quarterly? Corporate guides. Economic reports. This is impressive, Usami-chan. Are you studying for a career in business? Uh, not really. I was kind of looking for some leverage. You know, dirt on some big shady corporation. So then I could, like, control them a little. Huh? Usami-chan, that's a little... weirder than I was expecting. I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh, uh, like... You know, net profits. Big business talk. <laughs> or something. I scoured the whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but... It's just, like, stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but... There's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima... They're the ones who make ships and things, right? old friend? His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. Yes. Those big mecha corps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One step closer to getting the dirt. But now I'm way back in next so like You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No Did they just ditch? Don't worry, he'll be here soon He's not the type to break promises What's up? I'm here. It's that Pompadour guy! Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that would be her, Usami-chan. Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. Real dog face, aren't you? The heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Okay, hold on. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. Why'd it have to be you? The feeling's mutual, man. Please, can we all calm down? There you are. I've been 
been looking all over for you. What was... I just saw them. Usami-chan! Usami-chan! Oh. oh, good. You weren't waking up. I thought you might have died. What just happened? I don't know. There was some kind of flash, and... Then we were here. Damn it. Still alive over there, Captain Pompadour? My name... is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please! We can't be fighting right now! <sighs> what happened to all these buildings? It's like... We were attacked. Do you know something? I know the city got leveled. You saw that flash, right? Must have been a nuke. A, a nuclear bomb? You realize we were at school just now. Isn't this downtown? Way well, yeah, I figure it. The blast must have knocked us all the way over here. Okay, never mind. You're just a moron. Hey! You're like a big, greasy roach. I bet you could survive a nuke no problem. <sighs> you got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? Oh. If we're here, then... No way. The world got destroyed in my time. According to what Goto said, anyway. So maybe... If it's nuclear war, then that means... There's radiation everywhere! We're going to die! We have to run, or get cover, or... Deep breaths, Miwako. I'll try. That is from school? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else is here. Think they all evacuated? Look, I don't... Well, then where... Where's everyone else? Miwako. Dad! Mom! Look, I don't know what... Nobody up think they...
This isn't the city you two know. It's hard to tell with everything messed up like this, but... I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. <laughs>